Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 1465. Hey, if you want to download this Excel file so you can follow along, click on the link below the video. Hey, we have a schedule here with some dates. And over here, we have holidays. And we want to be able to type any holiday here. And immediately, if the date appears in this list, we want conditional formatting to show red with white font and not show the date, but show the word holiday instead. Now, there's two parts to this. The first part is, if we're going to use conditional formatting, I don't know a built-in way using conditional formatting here to check whether an item is in a list and then add the word holiday. So we're going to have to use logical formulas to apply our conditional formatting. Now, what that means is, if I find this item in this list, that means I get a true, please apply the formatting. If I do not find the item in the list, like this date is not in this list over here, that comes out false. True, I get the formatting. False, I don't get the formatting. Now, the way we can check whether an item is in the list is to use the match function. So let's just try this over here in this column, because we're going to visually see the result in the spreadsheet cells. But then we're going to have to use that formula, highlight this range, and then use conditional formatting, and paste the logical formula up into the conditional formatting dialog box. So let's just try to use the match function. Now, the match function is a lookup function. If I say, hey, match, lookup value, please look up that date. And that's a relative cell reference, comma. The lookup array, that's the list which I'd like to try and find a match. I'm going to highlight a few more than needed. That way, later, I can either remove dates or add more. Now, I see that the screen tip is in the way. So very carefully, I see that four-way white arrow, I click and drag. Now I need to hit the F4 key to lock that. So as I copy down, it's locked. Now, comma to get to the third argument. And we're going to look up exactly that day. So I'm going to use exact match, either double clicking that or typing a 0. Now I can close parentheses. Now what does match do? Well, it's going to look it up, and it will report the relative position. So notice. That date is not over here, so it will yield an error. It will show us not available. But down here, 927, if match looks it up over here, since it's in the first position, it will report 1. So you ready? I'm going to use Control-Enter to put the formula in the cell and keep the cell selected. Then I'm going to point to that little green fill handle. And when I see my crosshair or angry rabbit. I'm going to double click and send it down. And sure enough, it totally obeyed us. Not available, not available, found it in the first position. Down here, found it in the second position. Now, if we're using spreadsheet formulas, we actually would have to add something to this formula to hide the error if we didn't want it. But in the conditional formatting dialog box, it'll totally interpret NA as false. And it will interpret any non-zero number as true. So we don't need to change this formula at all. Now, I'm going to click in the top cell F2. And I'm going to copy this in edit mode, Control-C, Escape. Notice we copied it from the top cell. Because when we use conditional formatting with formulas, you have to very carefully highlight this range. I'm going to click in the top cell. Control Shift Down Arrow to highlight all the way to the bottom, and Control Backspace to jump back to the active cell. Remember, we copied it from the top cell here. So when we highlight, go up to conditional formatting, the conditional formatting dialog box will, in memory, put that formula in the active cell and copy it down. That's why it's so important to have the active cell here and copy the formula from the top. By the way, later we'll delete all that. So you ready? I'm going to go up to Conditional Formatting. None of the built-in ones will work. I click on New Rule. Notice that opens up the new formatting dialog box. Now I'm going to click Escape, because I do this all the time. And there is a keyboard. 
The keyboard is a long one, but if you do it all the time, it's worth it. Alt H L N. Now notice it has a list here, and we want to click on Use Formula to determine which cells to format. Or because it's highlighted at the top and I want to jump to the bottom, I'm going to use Page Down. Now our next task is to click in the format values where this formula is true text box. Now I can either click with my I beam, or because it's highlighted and this is the next item, I can hit Tab. Control V to paste that formula. Now look, that's in the dialog box. So in memory, behind the scenes, Excel will put this formula into every cell. Not actually in the cell, because that would replace the content, but in memory. Now let's click Format. And we can add whatever formatting we want. Let's start off with Fill Red. Because that's got a dark value, I'm going to go over to Font and add a font with a light value, something like white. Now watch this. We haven't added the word holiday, but just click OK, click OK. Look at that. It totally worked. It interpreted NA as false and any non-zero number as true. If I scroll down, sure enough, it got all of the correct dates. Now our next task is to add the word, because I don't want to see the date. I want to see the word holiday. Now I could go up with the whole range highlighted. I could go up to Conditional Formatting, Manage Rules, and that would open up this. And then we click Edit. Or we can use the fastest keyboard to open it up after you already have a formula in the dialog box, Alt-O-D. Now, actually, it says Edit, so we can click with our mouse, Edit Rule, or we can use Alt-E. Now, what we're after is this format, and we can click this, or actually, we could use Alt-F. And what we want to do is go over to the Number tab. Now, we're used to number formatting. We could add number, currency, accounting, date, time. But we want to come down to Custom, and here's an awesome trick. This Type right here means you can type custom number formatting. Now, if we highlight all of this and delete, the trick is this. You can disguise anything in the cell to show up as some text by putting double quote. And then we put type holiday and double quote. Now, when I get a true for my formula, the word holiday will appear. Now, remember, this is the conditional formatting dialog box. That number formatting is actually not in the cell. The cell still has the date number formatting. This only gets applied when our formula gets true. So now we have holiday custom number formatting. Font white, fill red. Now I click OK, click OK, click OK. And that is totally amazing. If I come down to the bottom here and type 9 slash 28, as soon as I hit Enter, that totally works. Now I'm going to Control Z. Similarly, if I deleted this one up here, instantly it updates back to a date. Now I'm going to Control Z. Now we totally didn't need these. This was just all for, for us to see visually how the formula works. I'm going to Control Shift Down Arrow. And I would delete, right, because this is the topics area for our schedule here. Now I'm going to Control Z just to leave this as a trail. So when you download this, you can see the finished version. All right, we saw how to use conditional formatting using the match function to look up a date and see if it's in our holiday list. And then we did conditional formatting and applied some cool font, fill, and custom number formatting. All right, if you like that video, be sure to click that thumbs up, leave a comment, and sub, because there's always lots more videos to come from Excel is Fun, and we'll see you next video.